I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5, 43. God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashai. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadash. These are their original Hebrew names. Dad, this morning, again, as you share with us another day and enter into our presence and bless us with your presence, we thank you. Oh, we love you, Dad. Thank you for Yahushua. Thank you for Rahakadesh. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for the privilege of prayer, your communication operation. Thank you for your words today and forever. Thank you for making available to all of us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and the power to rebuke Satan, the devil, the evil one, in the name of Yahushua. And we rebuke and come against him right now in the name of Yahushua. Yahushua, your beloved son and our beloved Savior, I pray this prayer and I welcome in now your Holy Spirit, Rahakadash, to minister to us. I thank you in Yahushua's name. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Psalm 139, 14 through 16. Remember, real friends are those who, when you made a fool of yourself, don't feel you've done a permanent job. Remember, some people complain because Yahuwah puts thorns on roses, while others praise him for putting roses among thorns. Don't be one like most who wish to serve Yahuwah God, but only in an advisory capacity. Remember, God is love. God is love. 1 John 4, 8. God is love. Dependable love. I ask you, are you reticent to trust God because of how others have let you down? If so, then understand that our Savior's love for you is not at all like most human, moody, unpredictable, self-serving, and dependent upon your response, love. Rather, Yahuwah God's love for you is based on his holy character, which is sacrificial, unchanging, completely trustworthy, and committed to providing the best, the very best for you. Today's verse explains that love is his very nature. What that means is that he cannot cease to care for you because to do so, he would have to stop being himself. Likewise, your Savior won't love you more when you're obedient or less when you're sinful because his affection is based on his steadfast disposition, not on your worthiness. This is the very reason you can always, always count on Yahushua love to help you. He is loving, good, and faithful, 2 Timothy 2.13. You never have to worry about him saying one thing and doing another, or acting in a way toward you that is harmful or cruel. 
Instead, you can rely on the loving assurances he's given you in his word every day of your life. When you pray to him, you might want to say to him, Dad, thank you for loving me profoundly, unconditionally, and faithfully. Dad, help me to live in a manner worthy of your love for me. Dad, my hope is in you because I can count on your unfailing love. In the name of Yahushua, I pray and I thank you. You be blessed now, you hear? Peace.